All right. Oh, my name fingers right there. Welcome to the Garden Rebel Channel on Memorial Day at 6 a.m. You can see the sun's coming up a little bit. I just noticed something. My bees down there are not getting the morning sun, so we're going to have to move them this fall. I'm losing lots of swarms because they're going really high up in the trees. But that's not what we're here about. Today, I'm going to spin you around here a minute. We're going to be planting sweet potatoes. And um, it's pretty rough because, how can I say this? We're expecting some major thunderstorms again today. And it has rained all week long since about last Wednesday. My sweet potato shipment come in Thursday, and I've had them soaking in a bucket of water till we got a kind of a chance to put them out. So this is what we're going to do real quick. I've got to go get the tillers ready and get them down here and heal up some mounds, get them started. But I'm going to spin you around real quick. But anyhow, excuse me, I've got to go get this stuff ready and we're just going to mount it up. It's a simple process. If you're in a flower bed, you don't really worry about you just loosening your dirt up, make sure they got room to grow. But with us, <coughs> excuse me, we got um, a tiller built tiller with a hiller on it and I'm gonna crank it up and get it down there get the stuff healed up and uh, as fluffy as I can with the condition of soils in and uh, then we'll go from there we'll just poke a stick down in it make a small hole and stick the shoot in and cover it up but that is a potato hiller right there for a garden tiller just hooks onto the back of it and mounds your dirt up and it's easier to do that, excuse me for turning you around, but it's easier to do that than drag the tractor out and all that stuff. So we're going to knock this out real quick, I hope. I hope the ground I can work it a little bit. We haven't had rain in two days, so I'm hoping it's, it's dry enough. It might, it might just clump up on me, but we'll see. So let me get this stuff mounted up, and uh, we'll do a quick demonstration when we get all that done my dad gets here. So until then, hold on. We'll be right back. Huh. He won't kill morning glory. Won't. All right. We're planting the sweet potatoes. So Dad's going to make him a hole that'll cover up the root system. We're going uh, 12 inches apart here. So. 12 to 14 anyway. Yeah. Any more close. That's all you do. Cover them up and hope for the best. All right, had to walk off for a minute. We have finally got all the sweet potatoes planted. Huh, about 175 foot total, maybe. Something like 150, 175. And uh, in the video with my dad planting them, it showed you, you know, we're just pretty much digging a hole with a stick, just poke the stick in there. And then you'll stick the sweet potato in, and you can tell how it's packed the dirt in. It's a simple process. Uh, one more time, let's see if I can find something around here. We gotta clean up some of the wrappings anyway that we had. I'll tell you what, let's just use this. Let's just a stick, or not a stick, but a piece of grass here. My imaginary sweet potato vine. Now, I can still see all these handprints. What we would do with a stick is just poke a hole. Put your sweet potato vine inside that hole. Make sure all your roots are covered. And you see him working his fingers in as he was back filling around that sweet potato. 
And what this does, it packs the dirt really good and it gets rid of the air pockets. Once your roots are covered up, you're going to come in. And that would be a sweet potato plant. Planted. It's not very time consuming. Anybody can do it. You can do it in a five gallon bucket. Uh, planters. Things of that nature. It's simple to do. Easy. And you don't have to buy 200 plants. This, is, this was just a bulk order. <clears throat> this was a new vendor. A potato farm up somewhere in uh, Tennessee. I've got the information up the house. Uh, and as they grow, I'll, I'll give the guy some uh, advertisement, see how they do. Uh, I'm not going to tell you to order from somebody and their plants not be worth a flip, but, you know, sometimes it might be the gardener, sometimes it might be the soil. We've got issues this year with cucumbers. Ugh. Ah, I'm getting tongue-tied. We're having issues this year with cucumbers coming up and some of the squash breaking the ground. Uh, it is what it is. Last year, squash and cucumbers done great. Tomatoes done pitiful. This year, tomatoes are doing good and squash and cucumbers are not doing so good. So, I don't know what to tell you. It's a roll of the dice. But, we're going to get in here and try to get rid of some of this grass before the rain comes. So, until next time, this is the Gardener Rebel. And I'm out of here. Have a great week. Uh, hopefully y'all are getting over the quarantine and getting to go back and function a little bit. Getting them, I couldn't have done it, but uh, thank God I work in an industry that's essential, so I couldn't have sat around here all the time. I went stir crazy. But anyhow, we're done for the day, and hopefully we'll see you around next time. Y'all have a great week.